Sup mains and mains. I'm salted peanut butter. Welcome to story time with me. And the story is be a bit funny. It's maybe a bit overwhelming and if you guys think I'm mean, but she was the one who was mean, so let me speak now. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about a pot smoking hat stealing crazy old lady. You may be like what? What did you do? Well, I'll tell you now. Anyway, so me and my friends were hanging out after school at um, a park called Garrison Park in Cottonwood. A Z. Yes, meet up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, we went there and then we hung out. And we did a, kind of a mosh pit thing. I'm telling you guys the whole story since it's a vlog. It's a story time thing, so. Yeah, we, we did like a fun little mosh pit just with us pushing each other around. It was kind of fun. A um, load of bacon bits was there, so we were like, yeah, bye. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so after that, we went to a play, an apartment complex just to, you know, go hang out and go swimming and stuff. So we put our backpacks down and loaded bacon bits, left his hat on the ground in the playground and we were like oh it'll be fine so we went swimming and we were like yeah I went swimming in my pants with all my electronics out because um I was just like no I'm gonna YOLO it let's go but anyway back to it so after we got out we, we just kept talking and stuff we dried off we went over there and then um our friend Lily and Ariana we were going in there to say hi and then like we went up the, 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 like, playground set. Well, I did anyway. And I looked, and this old lady had loaded bacon bits hat, and she showed it at me, and I thought at first she was like, hey, is this your hat? I was like, yeah, and I pointed it to me, and she was like, and then she said, she was, like, waved at me, and I think she flipped me off, too, and then she closed the door of her, um, apartment, and then she showed me the hat again, like, hey, look, I got your hat. I'm like, okay, you're mean. And then she locked her, well, didn't I? I, just, I think I already said that she locked her door. Then uh, she closed her blinds, and then she opened it slightly, and she's like, you little teenagers, you guys are so creepy. And I was like, you're the one who's creepy. You're staring at us through blinds. This is weird. So I told, I told Scott, like, four times. I'm like, dude, so that lady over there, you know? He's like, yeah, she stole your hat. He's like, what? And I was like, it's like, yeah. So it was like this huge, gi 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 gigantic dilemma of this lady who stole his hat. So this is, let me tell you the rest of the story. So my friend Levi went up there. He just knocked on the door politely. He's like, hey, can we please have the hat back? We know you took it. And she was like, I don't have it. And then everybody was questioning me. I doubt she has it. I'm like, you want proof? So... I, I, she was looking through the blinds. There's like this little opening of a window, and she was looking through the blinds like, "Hello." We were so, like, <laughs> it was really creepy because we were like, "What?" So, and she left her keys in her door, so that's kind of stupid. We were like, "We could take your keys, but you know that's illegal." Even though we, so then later we just started like pounding on her door like, "Hey, if you don't give us the hat back, we'll call the cops on you." And she's like. She didn't even care. She was just like, ah, I'm, 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 I'm on my using my palm. Oh my. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. And so she basically was just creeping at us and stuff. And then uh, we finally, the, um, na the her neighbor on the top of her apartment came down and was like talking to her like, hey, did these kids do anything to you? She's like, mm, she's, she, she's like, well, well, we told her everything that happened we we're like we we're just some she she respected us not the old lady but the lady above her because she knew it was friday and we were just some teenagers who wanted to go out and have some fun so she respected us but the old lady was like oh they're teenagers we should call the cops we we're like we're teenagers what are we gonna do like really seriously you can't just you were a teenager once old lady don't don't be mad at me you were, the, you were a teenager once in your lifetime as well. So don't be all like, you're evil because you're teenagers, you juvenile delinquents. I'd be like, no. No. 
But yeah, so the pot smoking, hat stealing, crazy old lady was like, was talking to the other lady, like, yeah, these guys, they threw their hat on my porch. Or like, she's like, did you? We're like, no, we were over there swimming. And then, and then, uh, my friend over here, um, aka me, saw her steal the hat. And she's like, she's like I, I don't know why you guys are accusing me of this. And she was looking high. She looked like she was smoking pot, using a bong. And like freaking smoking all day, cause her she had bags on her. She looked like she was like she just came out of like a bar of getting like drunk and beat up and stuff. She was like, I swear, dude, she was high as crap. So I was like, okay, so she's high probably. And I was thinking, wait, uh, I don't know if you guys know that. I'm gonna ask my history teacher on Monday, but. Is it legal to say that um, someone's well? It's it's illegal to steal someone's hat, but it would it be if if you uh, suspected that she was like on like illegal drugs or stuff like that, would you be able to report that to the police too, and they could check her house? Cause I don't know, but I called my mom, and she's like, "Oh, don't worry about it. Just just." So yeah, the lady on the top of the. On, on the top, finally got the hat, and she respected us, she was like, okay, you guys go have your fun, and the old lady just looked at us, hey, guess what, I'm on pot, <laughs> so, yeah, and that's the story, but after that, we just went down to the rec center, um, we bought ourselves some snacks, and then we went to the park again, and then I got picked up, and then all my friends were, like, there till like, 9 or something. And they, they were, like, someone bought them monsters. I'm like, why wasn't I there? I was so sad. But anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and shut your face, and subscribe. Um, I'll try to do more of these story time things in the future. Um, about maybe some more pot smoking, hat stealing, crazy old ladies, or some other p things in life. So... Thank you for watching. Goodbye, Mindsome, my.